Good morning, it's Wednesday, October 26, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Getting the Big Picture, and our scripture is Psalm chapter 84. O Lord God of heaven's armies, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob. O God, look with favor upon the king, our shield. Show favor to the one you have anointed. A single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God than live the good life in the homes of the wicked. For the Lord God is our sun and shield. He gives us grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. O Lord of heaven's armies, what joy for those who trust in you. The enigmatic nature of God's plans for my life and your life and the lives of each person on earth and all of God's created universe have always intrigued me. The psalmist declares God withholds nothing quote-unquote good from those who do quote-unquote right. That brings to mind two questions always. Number one, what does he mean by good? Number two, what does he mean by right? The second question is, for any theologically minded sort, a no-brainer. Doing right is simply a matter of obedience to God's leading. We must obey and not act like a jerk, right? Well, at least it's somewhat like that. In the narrow focus of my life and what I think, Good comes down to stuff, a new Mustang, enough cash flow to have someone else do my yard work, and of course, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, surrounded by Rocky Road ice cream. These are, quote unquote, good things. I'll take a second portion, please. The rub in, quote, goodness and rightness always comes when I begin to define the boundaries in which God can move to supply what I think is good and how much of the right living qualifies me to rake it all in. Then, just as certainly as the sun will rise in the morning, as soon as I begin to imagine all the good stuff I'm due, something terrible happens. A bill I hadn't expected, a sickness that blows my plans out of the water dreaming about playing third base for the Yankees and then waking up to the reality that nobody in the eighth decade of life has ever played in the major leagues. Now all of this is quite understandable because we've all experienced some of it to some degree. So how do we understand what's good and what's right? Again, as surely as I begin to answer that question, God is likely to highlight my flaws. However, here's at least a working hypothesis. Measuring right living is a matter of how much of you that you're willing to let go in order to embrace Him. It's a matter of control. Who controls your life? Measuring good things is a matter of the wider picture determined by the answer to the first question about right living. The synergy or interaction of living right by surrendering to the will of God and receiving good things is in viewing all things that come your way as God's good gifts by faith. That means treasuring your life and all the so-called good, bad, or ugly, even if it doesn't seem so, with the understanding that God will sort it out in the long run according to his good plans for your life. In short, measuring how right you have to live to receive good things at the hand of God is a matter of not measuring anything. It's a matter of letting go and trusting God for you today. So the next time that TV preacher tells you you're going to get a blessing if you send him $100 and pray a certain prayer with your hand resting on the TV screen, remember what the psalmist said about bending your will toward God. Then trust him and walk confidently through whatever the day brings. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.